Blue retention could be the main struggle of the new eyelash artists. Believe me, every eyelash artist got something similar at the start of their career. I'm not any different. So logically, the first thought is I must find the better glue. Unfortunately, I was wrong. I spent hours and hours researching. I spent all my first money I earned on the new glues that didn't really work. Unfortunately, some glues were made for different conditions and they were not suitable for Ireland. We have to make sure we buy the glues that they are suitable to work in our conditions, especially humidity and temperature. As a result, I was so disappointed. I was really close to drop my eyelash artist hobby because nothing was working. The main retention problem is very often not the type of glue you use. The main problem is the technique. Here are my regular client's lashes just before the refills. That's three weeks after application. So what affects the glue retention if it's not the actual glue? First of all, is your glue pickup. It's very important how you're picking the glue and the certain way to do it. How you are isolating the lash before or after picking the glue. How you apply extension on the natural eyelash. And of course, humidity and temperature are very important. The best way to achieve the long lasting lashes is to practice. But you need to know what you need to practice. Is the correct glue picking? There is a certain ways to do it. Isolation the lash. There are several ways of isolating the natural eyelash and they all are correct. Attachment to natural eyelash. There are so many ways that you can attach the extension to a natural eyelash and all of them are correct as well. But it depends on the natural eyelash growth. It depends what you're trying to achieve and it depends how much glue you use and what technique you use. The good news, to practice all of this, you don't even need the model. You can practice all of these steps without the model on the artificial lashes. And that technique is working because that's how we do it on the online courses all the time.